channel so today's video is all about making some DIY home decor projects using some air dry clay so I once used some pottery clay back in school and I loved it so much this is what I made back then it's a little bunny I even made a little bow here I was rubbish at painting I enjoyed making it so much and oh, Fugini, just stop it. Go with the video now. Okay, sure, okay. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started. I am using some white Daz air dry clay. You can use polymer clay, but I prefer air dry clay. I start off by kneading and softening the clay between the palms and I use a round ended make a brush to roll out the clay to the desired width. You can make it as thick or thin as you like. Pinterest is great for inspo and ideas and so I'm using this as inspo for the first project to create a moon faces wall hanging. I am improvising with container lids I found to make this as easy as possible or you can use the glass to cut shapes as well. I am using a lid to cut out a circle followed by another smaller lid to cut out various shapes of the moon phases you know allow your creativity to experiment with the sizes these are the shapes i created i then use water and a brush to blend out the edges to make it smooth and seamless i prefer using my fingers to smoothen it out Shortly after, I'm using a safety pin to create holes in each piece in order to hang it. Let it air dry for 48 hours or longer depending on the thickness. As you can see, it has completely dried and now you can sand it to smooth out any remaining bumps and rough edges. Proceed to dust it off then begin painting it. I wanted a darker moon face look so I mixed black and blue acrylic paint. However, in the end, it just looked like black colour but we still love it. I've seen plenty of decor with speckles, so I created a speckle look using some white, yellow, pink and blue paint. Yeah, I just went all out here. There's no stopping me when I start working with paint. <laughs> Finally, I am using a skewer and some knitting yarn to tie each of the clay pieces to create a V-shaped wall hanging. And I loved how this turned out. So simple and minimal, yet very, very cute. <laughs> project start off by kneading the clay into a bowl and roll out into a coil. Cut off the rough edges and measure the length of one link and cut it. Using a knife make gentle cuts on each end in order to stick it together. Now use water to, to join the edges and use fingers or a knife to sew the edges by gently pushing the clay forward. Repeat the same process to interlink more links. I created three links. Now adjust the links to any desired shape and that's how it will sit once it's dried. Mix some clay and water to create a soft paste and use that to seal the holes or gaps. Then use water to gently smooth out any uneven spots it's air dried you can sand it and paint it. I was indecisive about the colour for the links 
but then settled with the color black as I was obsessed with the final outcome of the first project and also because the color will stand out on my desk. Lastly, I created some yellow and white speckles. This process is messy so make sure to cover the surface with paper. I am so happy with these chain links. Damn, so much aesthetics in my room. <laughs> project I use the glass to roll out the clay to a desired width then I use the lid to cut out two circles in a long rectangle shape which would be the sides then I'm using this container as the shape of the trinket box also using a cling film to avoid getting the clay stuck. Now attach the pieces together using the container as a mould. Use one of the circle as the base and the rectangle shape as the side. And use water to blend out the edges and conjoin the base with the side. For added decoration, I am cutting out another circle then cutting out an oval shape to create an eye. Once the base has dried a bit, remove the container and repeat the step with the lid to create a lid for the trinket box. Make sure to blend up the edges so it does not crumble later on. Then I am using water to attach the eye to the centre of the lid. I was being extra and I cut out another rectangle to create compartments within the trinket box. At this point, make sure to blend out the edges inside of the box. Then sand off any uneven areas and let this painting stage begin! I use the variation of colours to make the trinket box aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I couldn't resist adding speckles to this as well. Then I just let my imagination go wild and do its magic. And finally, the trinket box was ready and OMG, it looked so beautiful. I was so pleased with this outcome. I will definitely use this to store my jewellery. And that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back with a new video. Bye!